Well, fine. Good afternoon, everyone. This is Patricia, and I am traveling for history. I'm in Bridport, Vermont. Bridport. No G in that word. And um, this is the Paris and Anna Fletcher House. If it sounds like a busy road, it is. This is Vermont uh, 22A. Very busy road, both ways, both sides of the street. And this is very close to the street. I mean, this is right, right off the road. The Paris and Anna Fletcher House is an historic house on Vermont Route 22A in Bridport, Vermont. Built about 1813 and enlarged in the 1820s, it is a fine local example of late federal architecture with a distinctive shallow Doric portico. Yeah, what does that mean? Well, it's very windy today. <laughs> so these are Doric columns right here. I feel like this is my third vid uh, video today of uh, the Doric columns. So Doric in the uh, three styles of ancient Greek columns, Doric is the most basic. And we can see that right here. You can see that it has the the uh, simple column and um, this square topper. It was listed on the National Register of Historic Places in 1999 and now houses the local historical society, which was established in 1974, as we can see, and apparently at least in 1999, they were here as well. Look at that gorgeous door. Isn't that beautiful? It's funny, when I was looking up at this place before I had looked again at this sheet, I was thinking that the style was looked a bit Georgian to me, which is uh, usually right after the federal period, or right around the federal period. Look at that beautiful detail up there. Holy cow, I mean, that beautiful pediment. So, definitely has some uh, federal styling. Looks like a little Greek revival trying to peek its way in. Anyway, the Fletcher House stands near the center of Bridport Village on the east side of Vermont 22A, just north of its junction with Middle Road. It is a two and a half story wood frame structure with a front facing gabled roof, clabbered exterior, and stone foundation. The front facade has a fully pedimented gable with flush boarded center and decorated border. A shallow four column Doric portico projecting just one inch or two and a half centimeters from the facade supports the gable. The facade has three bays, which do not quite align within the bays created by portico columns. The main entrance is in the rightmost bay, flanked by side light windows and topped by a federal style fan light. A two story L and single story shed project to the rear. The interior of the house is decorated with modest federal period elements. Side lights are these um, windows on either side of the front door. Uh, they get their name from being on, the, on either side of the, front, of the front door and they let in light. And they likely went all the way down to the bottom as well because uh, 1813, no electricity. The oldest portion of the house, its rear L, was built circa 1813-1815 by Paris Fletcher around the time of his marriage to Anna Minor with an E, capital M-I-N-E-R. Fletcher was an entrepreneur of the period, engaging in a number of business pursuits and operated a general store near the house between 1826 and 1875. The building's exterior and interior architectural details resemble elements published in Asher Benjamin's Country Builder's Assistant. By the 20th century, the house had been sold out of the Fletcher family and it was given to the Bridport Historical Society in 1974. I wonder if this were the store. 
And I'm not sure about that. Um, looks like a house now, but it certainly serves some sort of other purpose. And uh, what you see on the back there and the front is a false front. There's no um, reason for it to be up higher. It's just a, a spit for show. But uh, what a beautiful place. Well, I'm going to do a little bit of a walk around. I can see there's an apartment in the back there. So this part is the oldest part. All the uh, lines are drawn for the historical society portion of the building. That's kind of a shame. But then again, folks like me probably like to take photographs of stuff inside. Maybe that's why. You see they have a handicap entrance right here. That's quite nice. Sometimes I use a walker and it can be challenging to get up inside a building that doesn't have, that just has stairs in front. We can see uh, pilasters here. They're built in uh, columns. It doesn't say anything but pilasters in here. But hey, and then that, and that too. That styling is just so beautiful. You want to see my photographs? I'm on Instagram and uh, Facebook. Traveling for History 1L and Traveling. If you'd like to follow me, that'd be fantastic. And uh, I'm also on Twitter. Traveling for High 1. Traveling for HI with a numeral 1. I also love the uh, light above here. Reminds me of a pineapple. And, uh, anyway, um, and then pay attention to my website, travelingforhistory.org or travelingforhistory.com. Either, either, um, address will get you there. I'm going to be selling on that website pretty soon. So, keep your eyes wide open for that. If you're enjoying the content I provide, please subscribe to my channel. I would love that. And until I see you again, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. This is Patricia, and I am Traveling for History. You have a great night. Thanks so much. Bye.